to remain silent in the face of evil is itself a form of evil. Angelina Grimke defied her prominent southern slave-owning family and moved north to become an abolitionist against slavery. Her most profound work was to co-author the book, American Slavery As It Is, Testimony of a Thousand Witnesses. This book was written to bring light to the dark side of slavery. In this book, the authors wrote many real-life accounts from slave owners of the extreme abuse and torture. The slaves are terribly lacerated with whips and paddles. Red pepper and salt are rubbed into their mangled flesh. Hot brine and turpentine are poured into their gashes and innumerable other tortures inflicted upon them. Similar instances include slaves being struck with axes. Some slave owners admitted to cutting fingers off the slave's hand. One slave owner took it even further when he actually cut off the slave's left hand and burnt the fingers from his right. After seeing these horrific actions firsthand, Angelina could take no more. She joined her sister Sarah, and together they traveled across the Northeast, delivering heart-wrenching speeches that often left their audiences squirming in their seats. As a Southerner, I feel that it is my duty to stand up here tonight and bear testimony against slavery. I have seen it. I have seen it. I know it has horrors that can never be described. I was brought up under its wing. I witnessed for many years its demoralizing influences and its destructiveness to human happiness. I have never seen a happy slave. The slaves, when hope is extinguished, say, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die.